These are my new babies. So let me introduce you to... Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Maruba Raindrops Bluet Babylon Frosty Or should I say Crested Frosty PVN or Pearl von Nunberg Neon Breaker Dark Veda Blue Waves Zoro <laughs> and Parky Python Compactum I already got a big crested frosty, but I don't have a small frosty that I can put in a pretty pot and torture and see how it grows in full sun. The one I've got is in a nice protected area because they're not as frost hardy as my other Echeverias. Barbellion is not frost hardy and my Barbellion has suffered. So I'm going to grow this one in the shade, protected uh, from the frost come next winter. This one is raindrops. There are different types of raindrops or the drops uh, vary in sizes. So this is the carunculation or the little bumpiness at the tip of it. So there you go. They all vary. So I like to get different stocks of uh, the same plant because they can vary from one grower to another or depends on the condition that what they were exposed in. Neon breaker is a hybrid and hybrids don't do very well out in the frost but I have some neon breakers that I've already frost hardened and also heat hardened so expose them to the sun and the frost and the elements and the wind and all sorts of things so and it has become hardened so but this ones uh, I'm gonna grow them inside and see how they grow inside because it, uh, different condition growing inside like a lot of you have probably haven't got the space uh, to put your succulents outside so I'm gonna do some tests uh, from buying it from the first time and taking it home and uh, potting it in my uh, potting mix, my soil mix uh, that I have and it's, it also depends on the plant as to what sort of soil mix I'm going to put them in. I'm going to do this one as uh, a test subjects, this ones, so that's why I bought them. My Zorro, my Zorro is very zorro full. <laughs> so this Zorro now is going to be pampered. So most of these plants are going to be pampered except the Pachypitum compactum. I already have uh, a few Pachypitum compactum, but they all have been placed in special location and special pots and soil mixes to find out how they're going to grow. And that's the reason why I got some new ones because um, they take a long time to grow. They're not very expensive. They're only $5 for each pot. The thing is, I really, really love them. And they uh, can take quite a long time to grow into. So I'll just show you uh, this ones now. This one has obviously been grown outside now. But to get them to from here from there to to get to here it takes a long time and also there is a new compact form so i just want to know if the compact form is basically the same standard pachypitum compactum or it is actually uh, a new breed and i would love to get my hands on it if it is 
So that's why you need to do some experimentation. Well, I'm doing a lot of experimentation. So there's all different soils. Some have got master soil, master succulent soil mix. Others got advanced soil mix. So in the pot, and I also have a couple in the garden, which is just all green. So I'm just going to show you. So, okay. See these ones here, Pachypitum compactum, being crowded even there. There's a reason why I still haven't uh, pulled them out. Oh, look, the ebony. Hello, ebony. I have to pull them out. I have to pull out this red edge or this lipstick out and also this penny so I can propagate. And this one's now needs to be taken out, really. But it's also a good thing that I've been slack <laughs> that... Now, they, I can see that they are very, very strong plant because they're just bursting out. They're just trying to crawl out of uh, the crowdedness, being crowded in, and yet they still manage to grow out. So this Dark Vader here, I wasn't going to buy a Dark Vader because I've got a couple of Dark Vaders. Well, really, I only got six, and I haven't propagated my Dark Vader yet and maybe it has something to do with the soil mix as well because they look very different and then this one i got really annoyed because the lady i bought it from just threw it in the box and broke a leaf look look at that she doesn't care and then she actually broke it and said there you go you can have another baby i don't know why Ugh. okay so this is my dark vader here and i am i have this growing in my master succulent soil mix i mean it looks pretty and everything but and look it's gone short and the leaves have shortened look at that so i don't know if that's a good look but i don't really like that look so i'm now gonna have to change it and i i'm not i don't want to um experiment on this one because i just want to see how it grows and i've got another one hang on it's drying up the leaves in the bottom so you just go shake 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 like that and then they fall off and then i've got another one three-headed one as well so this is one plant that forms three heads and i i like three so if i chop that off then i'm gonna have only two which is really an even number i don't like even numbers and then if i take the other one so that's the reason why i haven't chopped it off but now i'm gonna have to deal with this one i'm gonna grow you into a beautiful plant so i hope so but i'm gonna change my soil mix for this one and probably grow it in the uh, intermediate soil mix